Hello, my name is Marius Karambalis from File Photography Studio. This is uh, my first tutorial in English and that's why I want your tolerance because it's my first time to speak in English in a video. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a splash photography tutorial. I'm going to show you how can you uh, create a splash image with a beer bottle and some acrylic ice cubes that I bought from uh, Amazon CO UK. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you the final image, the final composition with uh, ice cubes, the beer bottle and some bubbles. After the shoot video, I'm going to show you a small video with uh, the final uh, PSD image with all the layers I'm using to create this outcome. For this tutorial I'm using my tripod O58B for Manfrotto and a Manfrotto holder 183 which uh, supports up to 20 kilograms of uh, weight. I'm using also a small uh, fish tank uh, aquarium which is uh, almost 40 centimeters uh, wide and uh, 25 centimeters uh, width. Uh, I'm going to fill it with uh, water until in the middle and, uh, and I'm going to use my tripod and uh, the Marfoto holder to combine them and make a table for my aquarium. Then I'm going to use some scene stands and uh, plexiglass to create a white background and to diffuse the light. I'm using a small Heineken empty bottle and some acrylic ice cubes that I bought from Amazon. Because of low speed flash, I own Bowens 400 and uh, 250. I can't cut the perfect frame, and uh, that's why I'm going to shoot a lot of pictures to manage cut the f perfect frame with uh, the frozen moment, with the frozen ice cube in the water. First of all, I'm going to clean the aquarium inside and outside. I'm wearing uh, white gloves to prevent to stamp the clear glass with my fingers. And I'm cleaning very thoroughly everywhere to remove the dust and anything else. Then I'm going to hang the small beer bottle with uh, a dental floss. I'm using dental floss because uh, it is white and uh, it is available everywhere and then you can easily remove it with Photoshop and because it's um, flexible and uh, it absorbs the um, shakes from the bottle when I'm going to shoot uh, the splashes. To attach the dental floss in the bottleneck I'm using a small white uh, semi-transparent plastic uh, tie wrap and then I'm tying the, the other end of the dental floss to the horizontal action of uh, C-stand that it is going to hold it very well for the shooting. For the background lightning I'm using a piece of plexiglass, a milky piece of plexiglass and a flash with honeycomb grid. The plexiglass sheet is going to be like a diffuser and there's going to create a beautiful radial gradient for background. I'm putting also on the right uh, of the tank a piece of foam board white foam board to become a reflector of the strip light I'm going to deploy on the left side.
I'm using on the left side a small strip box. It's uh, 0.9 meters, 19 centimeters, and I'm putting it in an angle to create a uniform small highlight in all the length of the bottle. Now I'm playing with the bottle and I shooting with the remote control. After I shoot the bottle, I am colorize the water with two or three drops of blue food coloring product for create the turquoise color for the final image. Now I'm using a small sheet of transparent plexiglass to create waves and splashes inside the tank. It is difficult to catch the moment with these flashes because these models has only speed of T 0.5 one thousandth of a second. That's translate of T 0.1 only one of the 300. It's very slow for liquid photography, but that's why I'm shooting over a hundred frames to catch the moment. Because I saw that the first shoot with the bottle, it was not so good and uh, it is motion blurred. I decided to shoot separate the bottle and then placed in a layer in the final composition. That's why now I have removed the holder and uh, I position the bottle without anything above it to shoot it alone and to be perfect. I'm using the same background, the white plexiglass with the honeycombed grid studio flash behind of it and to create contrast and uh, black outline to my bottle and not to, to burn it from the backlight of the background light. I'm positioning two C stands with two black cards for cardboard and then to fill the logo and the label of the bottle, I'm positioning a second light underneath of my lens and low angle to fill the label. With the bottle shoot, with this last shoot of a bottle, I'm completing the studio part and now I'm going to process all the images and pick the best of them to combine them in post-production in Photoshop. Now I'm going to show you the PST file uh, I'm created in uh, Photoshop CS6 Synthesis file It's a big file It's everything here You can see that I have created 23 different layers Every ice cube is in the different layer Even uh, the swivel water is a different layer and the beer bottle. I extract some different group of uh, bubbles and I put it in the strategic uh, positions to reveal the movement of the ice cubes. I'm going to show you some of that. Uh, this is the bottle layer. I have an overlay layer and the layer of the bottle and uh, if I turn everything off you can see that it's only the layer with uh, the smooth surface of uh, the water of the colored water in uh, the aquarium and then everything is in one different layer the copyright one ice cube bubbles other bubbles the surface of the water. Uh, I create some suits with uh, one uh, ice cube that is this, uh, submerged underwater partially. I, I stick it uh, in a plexiglass uh, stick and uh, I took the shot when the plexiglass uh, ice cube was uh, semi submerged in the water I can show you that it is like that it's not uh, photoshopped uh, other ice cubes and the splashes I picked only three of them because of the shape and because of the sharpness of the detail here you can see that in 100% it's very good 
I shoot over 20 or 30 splashes but because of my flashes I mentioned before only four or five uh, or only four or five was so good and frozen movement and I could use it I shoot uh, two three other uh, ice cubes over the water under the water sorry to make uh, the whole uh, composition and that's it I can move any group of bubbles I had many of them when uh, I first shoot the waves with the color water and uh, with the small plate of uh, transparent plexiglass and uh, I use for all the suit one component of each one to finally composite this beautiful image it is 60 megabyte of PSD file when you are open it in Photoshop but uh, if you are going to flatten it and uh, export it like TIFF it's maybe 200 megabytes of uh, of uh, image it is 5400 by 3700 pixels it's very big image you can see it full screen and we are now in 50% only you can see the detail the bubbles are perfect because the movements are not so speedy you can see uh, here the signs of uh, motion blur because of the slow speed of my flashes but it's okay because the file is so big and if you are posted to internet it's okay to have this uh, minor motions I think that uh, it's a good image and uh, if you have any comments for the final composition or for the suit that uh, I couldn't um, explain in this video you can post a comment on my Facebook page or on my YouTube page and uh, I'm glad to answer to any questions thank you